Hi, welcome to my class. I hope you are staying safe and, safe and healthy in this unusual situation. In this class, we are going to discuss introduction to wastewater treatment and primary treatment of wastewater. So in our last class, we have discussed the characteristics of wastewater and the bacteriological examination of wastewater. In that you have seen what are the chemicals present in the wastewater and what are the bacteriological, what are the biological agents that will be present in the wastewater and how they will affect the common man life or other, how it will affect the environment and what will be the after effect we have seen in that last class. So, the discharge of this uh, wastewater without the treatment into the environment that will make so many ecological and health issues. Therefore, it is necessary to treat the wastewater before it is going to discharge in the environment. The water treatment is a process of removing the unwanted portions of the wastewater and uh, this uh, wastewater treatment will render to uh, allow the water to uh, flow freely and is uh, remove the unwanted contents of the waste, uh, the water and also it stabilizes the contents of water. For the treatment of uh, wastewater, there are, we are using main uh, biological, uh, physical, and chemical methods to treat the wastewater. Based on the treatment process used, the water, uh, wastewater treatment has uh, three stages. First one is uh, primary or physical treatment, and second one is secondary or biological treatment, and third one is tertiary or alternative treatment, is also known as chemical treatment. In the primary treatment of wastewater, we are removing the materials that will interfere the physical operation and subsequent treatment process and this materials is removed by the exploiting the, uh, the physical properties of this contaminant and in the secondary treatment or biological treatment we are uh, removing suspended and dissolved organic materials present in the sewage for the, uh, this secondary treatment purpose we are using biological methods and in this aerobic and anaerobic methods were employed. And in the case of tertiary treatment, additional combinations, operations and other units process were also used to remove the other constants present in the sewage. Nitrogen, phosphorus were uh, removed in this uh, stage and sometimes we are using disinfection uh, using chlorination and other chemicals were also used in this tertiary treatment of wastewater. So we can see the primary treatment in detail. We already told that primary treatment process will remove the materials that will interfere the physical operations and subsequent treatment process. In this uh, primary treatment, we are using uh, exploiting the physical properties of the contaminant to remove to remove the uh, that particle in this uh, prim primary treatment we are removing a floating materials that is present in the sewage like uh, leaves rags and papers and uh, some other heavy settable heavy settable materials like uh, sand clay etc and also this helps remove oily substances like grease, oils and soap that is present in the sewage. And for the removing this, uh, for, 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 for the purpose of primary treatment, we are using some methods like grid removal methods, screeners and uh, we are using some flotation method for that we are using skimming tanks and we are also using sedimentation in this case. We'll see these methods in detail separately. 
the first instrument is screeners the screeners used to remove bigger suspended and floating materials present in the sewage to screen the sewage uh, we are passing the sewage through the screeners and the screening element may be parallel bars or uh, grating rods or wire mesh or perforated plates and this the opening of screeners may be in any uh, in uh, maybe any uh, shape and mostly it will be rectangular or circular in shape according the size of the uh, opening of uh, screeners the screeners is classified as coarse screen that is having 75 to 150 mm opening size and the medium screen having 20 to 50 mm opening size and fine screen having less than 20 mm size and this screens screeners may be fixed bar type or uh, that's one drum uh, drum uh, shape or other disc shape also uh, available and shredder or comminuter is a special type of screen that contain a cutter in the primary treatment next instrument uh, next method is grit removal for that with grit removal we are using grit chamber the grit are the substances uh, that consists of sand gravel cinders or other heavy solid uh, materials and the grit deposits are not not biodegradable therefore it will occupy large space in the treatment instruments and the most of the grits are highly abrasive that's why it will cause damage to this uh, you know, treatment uh, plants therefore it is necessary to remove these grits before it is going to secondary or further treatment process the principle of grit chamber is based on the gravitational gravity this grits were sedimented due to the gravity in the grit chambers and the grit uh, chamber having an opening through that the sewage will come inside and it having one chamber where there this grit will settle and it having an outlet uh, through that the, the uh, grit sedimented sewage will go out and it having a flushing pump to flush out this grit that is settled in this grit chamber the third one is skimming tank uh, for the flotation method in this skimming tank we are using to usually to uh, remove the oily or greasy substances like fats oils soaps or other uh, materials is coming from a uh, kitchen garages or other soap industries the skimming tank is divided into three compartments by two baffles and the compressed air coming from the floor of skimming tank the, uh, that will coagulate the, uh, or flocculate the oily substance present in the sewage and this oily substance will uh, uh, substance will flocculate and that will be pushed into the third compartment of the uh, skimming tank that is known as a stilling compartment and from the stilling compartment uh, this uh, flocculated and solidified oily materials will be removed this is the uh, skimming tank method or flotation method the next method is sedimentation or settling the process of sedimentation is the suppression of settable organic or inorganic suspended solid uh, from the water and this sedimentation will be take place in a tank that is known as sedimentation tank or uh, is also known as clarifier and the principle of sedimentation is if the flow of water is stopped and stored in a tank and the rate of uh, the tendency of the suspended particle to 
settled down will be high compared to the flowing water and after the sedimentation we can uh, clear about 50 to 70 percent 70 percent of the uh, suspended solids due to gravity and this suspended solids uh, set it down and form uh, sludge in the flow of settling tank and this sludge will be removed from the settling tank or sedimentation tank by vacuum section or other uh, through or through the discharge tank. During the sedimentation, uh, this wastewater treatment, the sedimentation process will be carried out twice. If the sedimentation process carried out uh, before the uh, secondary treatment, that is known as primary sedimentation. If the sedimentation is carried out after the secondary treatment, that is known as secondary sedimentation. And sometimes the sedimentation of the suspended solids may will some suspended solid will be uh, will not be easy. That times we'll use some chemicals to uh, to sediment these particles and to facilitate this uh, sedimentation of this particle. That chemical that precipitation or sedimentation is known as chemical aided precipitation or coagulation aided sedimentation. And the chemical used for this coagulation is known as coagulant and the commonly used coagulants are the atoms of aluminum like uh, aluminum uh, sulfate aluminum chloride and uh, atoms of, of uh, iron like ferric sulfate ferrous sulfate and uh, ferric chloride are the commonly using uh, using uh, atoms for the coagulation of uh, coagulation in wastewater treatment and after this uh, chemical aid uh, sedimentation about 60 to 80 percent of suspended particles will be removed and here in this slide we can see the type uh, or the different type of settling and depending upon the uh, tendency of particles to interact and form solids the settling can be classified into discrete settling flocculation settling and hind uh, hindered or zone settling or compression settling first we can see the discrete settling in the discrete settling uh, this particle will be settled as a uh, uh, single unit without the flocculation and we can see the settling of grit in uh, grit chamber that is uh, example of uh, discrete settling and the case of flocculant settling this uh, settling flocculant particle in a, a dilute suspension due to the flocculation of this part of the particle that will uh, leads to change in the shape size and weight of the particles and uh, uh, flocculation or settling of flocks in the sedimentation tank is the examination example of the flocculation flocculant setting and third one is hindered or zone settling settling in the intermediate concentration of uh, concentration of suspension the particle comes close together and the inter uh, inter particle force will hinder the settling uh, of neighboring particles the, that's why is form a particle tend to form a zone or unit this particle settling is known as hindered or zone settling and third one is the uh, fourth one is compression settling this compression settling is happen in the lower layer of the sedimentation tank where the upper layer uh, of this upper layer give a compression on the lower layer of tank this is known as compression uh, compression type settling in this uh, slide you can see that the different type of sedimentation tank and the sedimentation tank is classified according to uh, based, uh, based on the method method of operation and based on shape and based on purpose and position first we can see the classification of tank on based on uh, method of operation based on method of operation this sedimentation tank is class uh, classified into batch uh, sedimentation tank and continuous flow type tank in batch 
uh, the water the waste water is allowed to rest for a time in the sedimentation tank but in the continuous flow tank there is no rest for waste water in the tank that will continuously will, will be flow in this uh, through this uh, tank and second one is a uh, uh, based on shape this class way into a circular tank and second one is rectangular tank and third one is hopper bottom tank that three tanks you can see in this slide and uh, uh, third one is uh, based on purpose and position purpose and position we can classify this one primary sedimentation tank and uh, second one is secondary sedimentation tank and this chamber also is an example of sedimentation tank this about sedimentation tank and uh, i hope you understood this uh, sedim uh, primary uh, primary treatment of wastewater and in my coming video i will uh, post the secondary or biological treatment of wastewater and and uh, this uh, tertiary or advanced uh, tertiary or alternative treatment of wastewater thank you for listening if you have any doubt please ask